This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. This is the second lecture on uh, the management of receivables. Uh, and as I said in the uh, previous lecture, uh, one thing we might consider as a way of getting customers to pay earlier is to offer them a discount for early payment. Uh, and the question then is, um, is it worth offering a discount or not? And to explain, have a look at example one, which is what I call simple discounts. You'll see why simple uh, when I come to uh, the other type of question you're going to be asked. But example one, customers currently take three months credit and we're considering offering a discount of 4% for payment within one month. Uh, we're selling 12 million a year and uh, we're currently paying overdraft interest of 20%. And so because we're paying overdraft interest, the sooner that uh, we can get customers to pay, the better we can um, reduce our overdraft and save interest. But the question is, given that the overdraft we're paying 20%, is it worth losing 4% by giving this discount to our customers? Uh, and it's not hard, but two things you need to watch carefully here. First of all, forget the 12 million sales for the second. Surely for every $100 that we sell, Currently, they're taking three months and we get the full hundred. If we offer this discount, we'll get the money earlier, we'll get it in one month. Uh, but with a 4% discount, for every hundred we've invoiced, if they pay within a month, we'll only get 96. And so effectively, we can get 96 early, but it's losing us, it's costing us the $4 because we could have had 100. So it's like paying interest. We get 96 early, but we're having to pay, we're losing $4 to get the 96. The interest the effective interest is four dollars on every 96 we get early which is what uh, 0.04167 or 4.167 percent so it's effectively costing us 4.167% over uh, a two-month period. But because we're getting uh, it in one month instead of three months, so it's like getting 96 early, it's costing us 4.167% effectively over a two-month period. Well, I want to turn that into a yearly cost. What's the effective interest rate per year? Uh, and you should be aware from paper F2, in fact, that one plus the yearly rate, oh dear, is equal to 1 plus the two monthly rate to the power 6 because there are six periods of two months in a year. 12 months, two month periods, there are six. So every two months it's like adding on 4% or multiplying by 1.04 to get the yearly rate 1 plus the yearly rate is 1 plus the 2 monthly rate to the power 6, which is equal to 1.04167 uh, to the power 
six is one point two seven seven six or R therefore is point two seven seven six or twenty seven point seven six percent. Now obviously you must have a decent scientific calculator that you can do powers like this. Uh, but offering this discount is effectively costing us 27.76% per year. Now you could just be asked what's the effective cost and there's the answer. Here though it carries on and says should we offer the discount? Uh, we're paying an overdraft interest of 20%. Well should we offer it or not? Well think about it. The benefit of giving the discount is we'll save overdraft interest so we'd save 20% a year on the overdraft. However, the cost of giving the discount is 27.76. And so because it's costing more than we're saving, the answer would be do not give the discount, or do not offer the discount. And there we are. Uh, now, the sales uh, of 12 million a year appreciate are completely irrelevant uh, because uh, we can't force customers to take a discount. You know, even if the cost making up a figure, if the cost per year was only 15%, ah, it's cheaper than the cost is cheaper than the saving we make on the overdraft. So then you would offer it. But you can't make customers take it. It's up to each individual customer. They might all take the discount. None of them might take it, but you'd still offer it. In our figures here, we wouldn't offer it. Now, I said make sure you have a decent calculator because make sure you could do this one. Uh, I'm just making an extra question up here. Suppose I told you uh, customers currently take uh, 25 days to pay we're going to offer a discount of 1% for payment within 10 days. And assume, and watch for this in the exam, uh, whenever days are relevant, the examiner tends to tell you how many days to assume, you know, maybe 365 days, or here, assume 360 days in a year. Now, although I'm going to go through it, uh, have a go yourself. Um, you know, pause the lecture, have a go yourself, and then unpause uh, and see if you've got it right. Uh, let's have a go. Just like before, uh, at the moment uh, we're waiting 25 days, and for every 100 we invoice, we would receive a full 100. With the discount, we'll get it in 10 days, but because of the 1% discount, we'd only get 99. So for every 99 we get early, we're losing a dollar because of the discount. The interest, therefore, is 1 over 99, losing a dollar for every 99, which is... Sorry, one divided by ninety nine point oh one oh one oh one oh one oh one oh one or one point zero one oh one percent over what period? Well we're getting it fifteen days earlier.
However, we want to turn that into a yearly rate. So the effective annual rate Well, 1 plus the yearly rate, just as I had before, is 1 plus uh, this rate, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, oh dear, to the power, well, how many 15-day periods are there in a year, to the power 360 over 15. Well, what is 360 over 15? It's 24. And so it's 1.0101010 to the power 24, which is 5.5. R, therefore, the uh, effective yearly rate is 0.2728 or 27.28%. All right, so that's uh, what I call a simple discount, and that's been asked several times. Yeah, makes a nice little two mark question. Um, uh, what is somewhat more demanding, though? is the next uh, example, example two, where we've got a change of policy. Now again, as always, to avoid that just getting too long, um, I'll stop this lecture, I'll go through examples two and three and explain why the approach has to be different in the next lecture.